This is a new iPhone 11. And this is a meter to test EMFs coming off of this. Now, this is the Cornet ED88T. This is about two years old, but still very, very accurate and a really, really great meter. And in today's video, I'm going to show you just how much radiation, cancer-causing, cell-damaging, mitochondrial-destroying radiation that's penetrating your body, disrupting the water, disrupting all the cells, disrupting the electrical currents going through our body, how much that is actually coming off one of these things. All right, so let's get started. So this is the baseline for the room. So right now, my phone is on airplane mode where I have no location services, no Bluetooth, and no Wi-Fi. It is completely uh, void of, of, of projecting any type of EMF radiation. So we are at, you can see the high right there is 0.7. You can see on the bottom right there, 0.76. And let's see if this can focus for a bit again. You now I'm going to take this off of, me, yep, there we go. All right, cool. So 0.7, uh, it may go up a little bit if I move it different vectors. Uh, sometimes this, this, um, meter when you move it because the how it how it reads it can actually kind of change the, the angle so it's still kind of hanging around around 0.7 so this is the baseline of the room now i do have a wi-fi router in the other room uh, my computer is turned off so nothing in this room is projecting anything right now so let me go ahead and show you what happens now i'm going to get a better camera angle here and zoom in on what we are about to see happen. All right, that is a good, that's a fine angle. All right, cool. So you can still see right there, we are at around 0.7 for the max. So right now we are on, let's see, I'm gonna take this off autofocus, just manually focus this from now on. So we are on full airplane mode right there. Uh, Wi-Fi is turned off, everything is turned off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on, and you can see we are still at around point, point 0.2 or so. So I'm gonna turn on Wi-Fi, and it will find a network, and we will see it right there. All right, so my updates are coming in. Now I'm going to go back to the phone and let's see, I'm gonna turn on the do not disturb because I don't want that to distract things. So Wi-Fi is on and you can see by the color turning yellow. So it's a high of uh, nine and let's see, seven, you can see it's jumping around a lot right now, just from the phone. So nothing else changed other than turning on the Wi-Fi on the phone. Now you'll see how this isn't it's, it's it's still high. You shouldn't be exposed to this all the time. This shouldn't be in your pocket next to your breasts or genitals or next to your head or anything, but it's nowhere near as high as what's going to be in just a moment when I turn on the, uh, the LTE, the actual cell service. So again, you can see we are, I'll move it around a little bit so we can get a little bit, a bit of a better of the Wi-Fi, what's going on, right? So it hasn't popped above uh, you can see in the bottom max of 9.81. That's kind of where it's hanging out right now is the max. But you can see it's much, much more, much bigger. So I'll, just to show you the difference, I will put this back. I'll turn Wi-Fi off and you will see it immediately drops. See that? It drops back to like 0 0.1, 0 0.07. And then turning Wi-Fi on, this skyrockets up. All right, so that is the baseline for the Wi-Fi. Now, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Sorry, guys, I'm just... All right, so that is focused. All right, so here we go. So Wi-Fi is on. Now, I'm going to turn on, turn off airplane mode. I don't even like holding it because I can feel my hand getting numb and tingly. But I'm gonna show you Oh, you hope you see what's going on right there. It is skyrocketing. Now, this will get much higher. Um, 
So you can see the max there of 24. I'm going to just turn this around. Make sure you can see here, the, it says RF sensor. It goes, it's one directional, this side up. So you can see that it's very sensitive. Now if I put it directly on the phone, It does go up to 34, and I've seen this in the hundreds. Now, I'm curious if I had to turn on data. I think I'm gonna turn on the data to do this, because that is the reason why it is not going as high as it usually does. So, oh, data is on. So I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off. There we go. So <laughs> when Wi-Fi is turned off, that is when we see these massive spikes. Now I'm just gonna hold this right here. You can see it spiked to 182 right when I turn that off. And I'm going to bring this right on it and just to place this directly on the cell phone. So it comes in pulses. These, these waves come in pulses. See, so so when I turn on the phone and turn on the screen, it, it pops up to 182 again. Now you can kind of see what's going on now. I'm not actually using the phone, so that's actually a big difference here. I'm gonna unlock the phone here, and then I'm gonna to start to, let's see, I'll just open up Safari. And you can see when you're, when you're using the apps, it's consistently high, you see that? So it's, uh, When I, you, know, you see what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm clicking stuff on the, on the phone. Let me just bring this down. Oh, it's hurting my back. All right, so here we go. You can tell I'm not a professional videographer. Can you tell? All right. <laughs> okay. So you can see that thing has spiked uh, 182. Uh, I've seen it get much higher. I'm gonna open up Facebook. My guess is it's gonna spike a little bit here. So you can see it's just consistently staying very high. There's three, 360, 364. Um, so as you're using the phone, it gets very, very, uh, it gets much, you know, consistently higher. Now, let's see, I'm gonna open up another app. I'll open up TikTok and you can see it is eh, not as busy as I thought. But let me open up, let's see, I will open up, what else do I want to open up here? So what about, open up Instagram. Okay, so Instagram is up. It's not a very, it's not checking that much, but you can see as, as even as I refresh the screen, so when most people are on Instagram, they are refreshing, they're scrolling, and you can see as long as I'm, I keep getting new information, it stays really high with massive spikes. You can see this is in the red. So this is the safe level of radiation, and it's consistently, consistently in the red, which is dangerous. So that's really all you need to know here, all right? Nothing, nothing really else that is important to know. Um, now I am gonna go show you Bluetooth as well. I'm going to show you Bluetooth as well. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the data off. Okay. Turn data off. So right now we're just on Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn airplane mode on and just turn on Bluetooth. Okay. So this is just, right now we just have Bluetooth going on, which it's going to be higher than you think. Now it's, it's, this is just Bluetooth. So this is what most people do. They put their phone on Bluetooth. And again, just, just to confirm, you can see right here, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is off, cellular data is off, Bluetooth is on, that's it. And this is me not using my phone. So you can see it's, it's, uh, it's a little better there, but it was higher. So it was higher um, and what most people do is they will have you know their Bluetooth phone connected in their pocket and then they will have you know 
uh, headphones strapped around their head, and I am not a fan of that. And you can see it just jumped up to 10. Now, it's these bursts that are really the most damaging. So it's not, it's, it's these big bursts that are really, really horrible to be around. Now, three, you can see what's going on. So it's, it's searching for a Bluetooth signal. Uh, if it had a signal, it may or may not be less. I don't have any Bluetooth headphones to even test that with, but my guess is it'll be, it'll actually be the same or even, or even more because uh, once it has a connection, then it has to transmit data to the headphones. So anyway, it's still not safe to have just Bluetooth on the phone. Now I'm gonna go find location services and turn that on as well. All right, so I'm about to turn on the location. So right now we have Wi-Fi on and LTE on, as we can see here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Over here, all right, so we have Wi-Fi on and actually the data is off. So let me turn the data on. This is as if you were outside and you can see it's spiking up. It's in the red, this is not healthy. You should not be hanging out here. Um, max of 874, I mean, that is just frying everything. Um, all right, so let's see, what was I gonna do? I was going to go to, here we go. All right, location services, I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna make sure you can see how that changes things. So location on and wham. It just, there's another spike trying to find where, where it is in the world. So again, these are just services that are not healthy to be around. Now, I'll keep, I'll turn off cellular data, but I will keep location services and Wi-Fi. So all this is, is Wi-Fi and your GPS and, um, you can see that, again, it's just, it's just hanging out. It spikes into these ranges, and that's just not, not ideal. Um, and again, I'm, just to finish off this video, I'm going to turn this on airplane mode, and, well, everything should go off, but I think location, location services are, well, something's definitely still on here. And this is where having a meter is really helpful, because you can see this is, Pretty sure this is higher than it should be. So I'm gonna turn off location services. Location services turn off. So you can see right now it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.11. This may be the baseline on the room. Actually, it probably is. I'm gonna turn that off anyway. Turn off. Yeah, so that looks like the baseline on the room, uh, which is higher than I like. There we go. So now it's going back to about 0 0.1 and less than 0 0.1. So this is ideally how I like to keep my phone. I don't like keeping, well, that could have been the same. So now we're just, just on the, just on airplane mode with location services turned off. And that is how that works. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Um, you wanna make sure if you wanna reduce your EMFs at night, um, I suggest actually getting like a Faraday, Faraday bag um, or you can just turn everything off. So by turning off, uh, by, turning on, by turning on airplane mode and turning off everything. So that includes going into location services. Now just to see if there's a difference here. So location services, it's not, no app is open, so it's not using anything right now. If I go back to maps, let's see. Actually, maps is not gonna work without either Wi-Fi, so you can see here. So, let's see. Allow once. Let's see here. So it's trying to find the location. You can see that little swirly sign. And it probably won't because you can see airplane mode is on on my phone. So. You can't access, my guess is we can't access the GPS while we are on airplane mode, which is good. So airplane mode is kind of your safest bet. You want this to just look like this. You don't want anything else to be elevated or highlighted, and that is your best bet to be 
uh, radiation free, especially as you go to bed or even throughout the day. Um, you don't want this in your pocket. You really don't. It's just like not good for you. <laughs> um, this is my suggestion here. So hope this video is helpful, guys. Uh, like, like, and subscribe to the station. I'll be posting more health stuff on here as well. Okie doke. Take care. Bye-bye.